some breaking news today, and it comes out of Massachusetts. At UMass, guard Derek Gordon has come out publicly. Now we've seen a myriad of athletes come out of the closet. Is this different in any way, BJ? Well, I think he's a, he's the first active college player, Division One men's basketball player, so that makes it different. When you look at uh, gay athletes coming out, and almost a year ago, exactly a year ago, Jason Collins came out becoming the first active professional athlete to declare that he was gay. And then Michael Sam, of course, came out uh, a couple of months ago. And so Michael Sam was less of a big deal than Jason Collins, and I think this is less of a big deal than even Michael Sam. So. In a way, I think it's progress. Um, I think it's it's not earth-shattering news. It's still news. It took tremendous courage um, for him to come out uh, the way he did and and to go back and actually play next year. Um, and uh, you know, fans can be brutal, especially college fans. So hopefully, um, you know, they'll they'll use some judgment. Um, but uh, you know, I think there's tremendous progress in this area. And um, you know, I think it's it's news, but it's not a huge earth-shattering big deal that it was a year ago. Yeah, I would agree with that, but I would say that this is big because it's the first active college sport in one of the major sports we've seen, because Michael Sam came out to his teammates and the people around campus knew, and that was admirable, certainly the way they handled it, but no one else knew. This is going to be the first kid who has to go on the road to road trips around the Atlantic 10 where they have, you know, famously hostile crowds in certain arenas, uh, and he's going to have to deal with this as a year-long storyline for a team that's probably going to be pretty decent, because they were a six seed in the NCAA tournament this past year. So, and he's a big part of their team too. You know, he's a starter. He's a guy who averages almost double figures in points. And he's got two more years uh, on campus at UMass. So uh, it'll be an interesting test case for college sports in general. I'm optimistic that everyone around college sports will handle this very well given the open atmosphere that you often find in a college environment. So uh, it, it's definitely gonna be an interesting thing to watch, but people are gonna have a long time. In fact, I think they'll probably forget all about this because it's such a long off season. We'll come back in November ready for the season and people go, oh yeah, Derek Gordon, right. That'll be uh, something that people have a long time to get used to around college basketball before the season even starts.